Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. You? Good. Well. Oh, thank you. I didn't recognize you as uh, shaved your yeah, hair. Yeah, I shaved right? my hair. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing? Fine. And you? Good. 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 good, good. So we have brought Alessandro from Horrible Girls. Hello. And he'll be talking to us about Evergreen. This yes. is one of the hottest games on the SN list. Yes, apparently, yes. Apparently. We are very happy about that, but yeah, it's yes. Really beautiful. The people can see. Uh, this is this is a um, German copy. Yes, but uh, I just ah, had this one okay. at hand, but the game is uh, language independent completely, oh, okay. so there's no problem in showing okay. uh, this version instead of the English That's one. That's cool. All right. So, what is Evergreen? Evergreen is a um, game by Jan Maha, which is the same designer as Photosynthesis by Blue Orange, a game ah, from a few years ago. Okay. And I mentioned this because this game shares some of the design ideas mm -hmm. from uh, that game. Mm -hmm. in, in, specifically, there is the idea of the sun, casting lights on the planet and then going around the, the board uh, during the game mm -hmm. with uh, the, uh, you planting trees and making them grow mm -hmm. and uh, they collect light but they also cast a shadow that may overshadow other trees preventing them from taking light so you gain less points from those so you have to pay attention in how you uh, plant and make your uh, plants grow so that they don't uh, interfere with each other too much okay. but apart from that the, the two games are very different starting mm -hmm. from the fact that uh, uh, different from photosynthesis in evergreen each player has his own board mm -hmm. so you're not competing for space in a very crowded board but you are building your own thing on this your planet board. this is one of the one four of the player blows okay. yes okay. I just put one because that's yeah, not my yeah. um, so also different is the way in which you determine which actions you are going to perform each round because mm -hmm. i set up here at the top at the beginning of each game at uh, the other sorry of each round you create a drafting pool that contains uh, one more card than there are players so this would be a setup for three players mm -hmm. so starting from the first player which is the player with this token uh, you pick one card and the color of the card you pick mm -hmm. determines the area of the planet where you are going to be able to spend your action. Okay. There are four kinds of actions, mm -hmm. but each one is actually just a different combination of two effects, mm -hmm. which are planting a sprout, a young plant, or you can make an, a plant grow into its next step of evolution. Mm -hmm. So a sprout, can become a small tree and a small tree can become a big tree nice. uh, so uh, the first action for example is planting for sprouts uh -huh. the second action is making two plants grow to the next level mm -hmm. the third action is making one and one of uh -huh. these two with the fourth you ignore the color of the card and you do just one thing but you can do it where Anywhere. you want mm -hmm. exactly your card also uh, gives you a special power to use. The, pa the powers are these ones here at the top of each board. And when you activate a power, you always upgrade it first. So you move this marker to the next level. And then you perform that effect at that level. Powers get stronger and stronger the more you use them. And they can be uh, simple things like planting more sprouts, making sprouts grow, into big, small trees, mm -hmm. making small trees go into big trees, gaining points straight up, or special things like the one in this card that I have took, which are uh, like lakes. If you place a lake, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you place a lake, you can choose up to two spaces adjacent to it mm -hmm. and make those plants grow for free. Okay. Um, can I show this closer up because I think oh, it's yeah. gorgeous. <laughs> Thank if you. People can see like more of the, the illustrations and like the how artist it nicely it fits in there. Yeah, the two-layer board is useful for keeping the trees in their place. Yeah. And the artworks are from a Japanese artist called uh, Wenyi Jiang, but she is actually of Chinese descent. So okay. there's both of us, uh, both yeah, cultures both in there. Yes. Um, 
and the final power is um, um, bushes that you can use to connect groups of trees together, which is one of the ways in which you make points. Um, so, a round of the game works as I just described it, so you create a drafting pool, each player takes one card, one card is always left, and it is uh, moved to a special place of the table, which is called the fertility zone. I explain what that means in a moment. Then, after everybody has performed uh, the action and the power, you move to the next round and you do this all again. Then, after a certain number of rounds, a season will end. There are four seasons in the game, and each one is made by a decreasing number of rounds. So your powers get upgraded so you become more powerful in a way but also you get less time to use it so there's this balance where you keep getting stronger but you have less and less time to keep improving your score okay uh, the two way at the end of each season though you make points during the game and there are two kinds of points one is the biggest group of connected trees which is called the forest you gain as many points as many spaces that forest occupies. Okay. So in this case, it will be just free, but of course you will you will yeah. have much bigger than those. Then the other way, you make points at the end of each season is similar to photosynthesis again, which is from the light of the sun. So the sun in this position casts light in this direction, and uh, the trees on your board, if they can collect light. Uh, they gain, uh, they net you points. So for example, in this situation, this tree gets light. It's a small tree, so one point. This tree is in the shadow of this tree, but it is taller. It's taller yeah. So it still gets points. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, since it is a big tree, it gets two points instead of one. But it also casts a longer shadow. So this tree is actually in the shadow of this tree and it doesn't get any points. Yeah. These trees are both without any interference, so they get points. But then, at the end of the season, the sun moves to the next uh, side of the board. So now, oh, nice. this tree is getting light again, but this is not getting light anymore. So maybe, to prevent that, during the following season, you make this tree grow into a bigger one, mm -hmm. so that now it still gets light. Yeah. But then, when, how many seasons are there? Four? Four, so okay. it's one time from each direction. Right, okay, because I thought if the sun was there, then it would, if you had another tree here, yeah. it would be an issue. But if you think about where you're going to plant next, exactly. then it becomes yes. more strategic. And it's inevitable to have some trees overshadow other trees. But yeah. if you are smart about how you yeah. do things, you can... Uh, Okay, I keep this small now, so they all get light, but then I make it grow and not, it would not interfere with any trees from for the rest of the game. Right. So, yes, that's okay. strategy. Nice. Um, so you do this for four seasons. At the end of the game, there is one additional way in which you gain points, which is uh, using those cards that I told you each round are discarded from the, from the pool, because one card is always left. So... Let's say that over the whole duration of the game, uh, a certain number of cards is going into the... I don't know if I'm keeping stuff into the frame, so sorry if something is getting yeah, out of the screen. Yeah, I think this is in frame, yes. Okay. Um, so, let's say these are the cards. There should be more than that. Um, these cards, uh, the number of these icons on these cards uh, determines the value in points of the big trees and the big trees only in that color. So, uh, a big tree in the white area would now be worth five points, while uh, a big tree in the red area, since there are no red cards here, would actually uh, be worth zero. So, since you see during the game which lens, which kind of lens, are getting more valuable and those are the lands that were not chosen in the beginning now those lands will become more those biomes we call them in the game those biomes will be uh, more attractive so people will start to compete to get those cards because in the end of the game those the big trees in there will be more valuable but then again uh, some of the cards 
show a different symbol which he is always never finding. There is this uh, aridity icon that when, if this card, uh, if you take this card, it works just like any other. But if you, it is discarded, it flips the, the topmost card of the pile. So, if you have a lot of uh, big trees in, the, in that area, maybe if, it, if you see this card, you take it even if it's not the best one for you right now, because it will protect your score at the end of the game. On the other hand, if you don't have many trees there, maybe you let that go through, because that will damage the score of the other players at the end of the game and give you an advantage. Okay. So there's uh, quite a few layers of strategy right. in uh, a game that otherwise has quite simple rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because and, and basically that's it. Components, and this is something no. I love. Yeah. I mean, there's no not a central board, right? This is the player board. Yes. And you only have the cards and the beautiful. Um, Small meeples, yeah. yeah meeples. Triples, we call them. In the, yes, we call them triples in the game. <laughs> That's great. It's a nice one. Um, so, how many players can play this game? Uh, it's, it's from two to four players. Two to four. Yes. Um, and how long is it? Because this looks like a not very complex game. No, and it's also quite quick. Okay. Because uh, apart from when people are picking cards during the drafting phase, you are basically, uh, basically almost all of the time playing simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So it's like 45 minutes to 30, 45 minutes, maybe one hour at the Ooh. most. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to show the cover again. Yeah. Because it's, I don't know, it, it's so beautiful. Like, yeah, it has a serene uh, yeah. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, also, yeah. A lot of people has been comparing this game to photosynthesis because of the designer yes. and some of the mechanics. Yeah. But many of them have also been saying that compared to photosynthesis where you had uh, this fierce competition for space in the shared board, this feels similar in a way, but a more relaxed experience. Right. Uh, yeah, so there is indirect interaction. There's, so. Well, it's not that indirect in the competition for okay. the cards. Yeah. Because if I steal a card that you really want, yes, it's indirect in a way, but also it's it can be troublesome for yeah. your strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But then again, you you also there's something useful you can do. Maybe that was not the best option you were thinking of, but no card is really useless. Mm -hmm. Just showing more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. I, I, the, the, this card, for example, is a wild card, which is another layer oh, of... They okay. don't give any points at the end, so they are discarded mm -hmm. for, for, for good. But you can choose the color on the planet that you can uh, use with those right. cards. So. Cool. Um, so you guys are selling this here at Essen? Yes, it's available in Essen. It was uh, in short quantities previously available also at Jankon. And it's soon going to be available at retail uh, in various moments, depending on the country. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's, the game is available now here and it will soon be available uh, in and many places. It doesn't matter in what languages because this is language independent? Yes, uh, we have uh, several languages. Um, the rule book is available in several languages on our website. So if you, okay. the English version and the German version are probably going to be available the soonest, it's fo uh, briefly followed by the Italian one, I think. But okay. then again, the game is language independent. So. Right, right. And do you still have copies? Yes, we have. The, the, the quantity is shrinking, but... Because, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are not sold out. I want to buy a copy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love yes. them. For, so, uh, for a while, we still have them, but the, the, they are going uh, away. Okay. So. If you want one, yes, be fast. 